everyone, I'm Victor Melcher, and in this Ultimate tutorial, I'll break down everything you need to know shooting in ProRes Log on your iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. So let's get into it. Okay, so first off, what is ProRes? What is Log? Here's a quick explainer. ProRes is a video codec, or more simply, a type of file that filmmakers love because it is incredibly flexible. It gives you 10-bit 422 color, which gives you ultimate flexibility for color grading. One potential downside with shooting in ProRes is that it is an incredibly chunky file. For example, one 20-second clip you shoot in ProRes can easily take up about a gigabyte of memory. So say if you're shooting in ProRes all day, you might come back with two to 300 gigabytes of memory, which this will not only take up all the memory on your phone, but it will also take up memory really quick on your hard drives. But don't worry, I'll show you how to bypass that later in the video. Log is a super flat and desaturated color profile that filmmakers like myself love because while it doesn't look pretty in camera, this gives you the ultimate flexibility to color grade your footage however you like. But it also gives you the most dynamic range out of your camera sensor possible. So this feature is giving you ultimate color grading flexibility, dynamic range, and even getting you closer to high-end cinema cameras. Cameras. So if you are shooting in the native iPhone camera app, all you have to do to enable ProRes Log is in the left bottom corner, just tap that, and now you're shooting in ProRes Log. As you can see, again, like I mentioned, the chunky file size, so you only get a max record time of around 28 to 36 minutes, depending on how much memory you have on your phone. But I actually recommend shooting in the Moment Pro camera app because not only will this give you full manual controls and exposure metering tools, you also get four different flavors of ProRes. I actually recommend shooting in ProRes Proxy for two reasons. One, a ProRes Proxy file is actually less than half the size of a regular ProRes file. So you can shoot all day without having to worry about running out of memory. And two, because it is a significantly smaller file size than standard ProRes, you can now shoot in ProRes Log at 4K 60 frames per second without having to use an external storage device. Okay, so now that we are in the Moment Pro camera app, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the little settings icon on the bottom left corner and scroll down to video settings. And under video settings, you'll toggle on use ProRes. And now under video codec, you can see you have access to four different flavors of ProRes. And once you enabled ProRes and selected ProRes proxy, you will just X out of the settings and under default Rec 709 in the top, just click that. And now you can switch to Apple Log. And now you're ready to start shooting in ProRes Log. Exposing ProRes log footage properly is equally important as shooting it because if you underexpose your shot, your footage is just gonna look noisy after you color grade it. And if you overexpose your shot, you're gonna lose your detail in your highlights. And that's another reason I really love the Moment Pro Camera app because you actually have exposure tools on the bottom right corner. As you can see, you have a waveform and a histogram. So sticking somewhere to the middle, if anything, a little bit to the left is the best way to get the proper exposure on your log footage. So for getting the best result out of your log footage, you wanna keep your ISO as low as possible to get the best dynamic range and the least amount of noise in your shadows. And then you can go to shutter speed and the higher the shutter speed, the less light and the lower the shutter speed, the more light. When in doubt, always expose for your highlights. You can always boost up the shadows a bit in post-production, but once you lose that highlight information, it is gone and your footage will just look amateur. The last step once you've shot all of your ProRes log footage is post-production, which is where you will color grade all of your footage. The color grading process can be a whole other tutorial, but for the sake of keeping this simple, I'm gonna recommend one of the most efficient methods of color grading, which is using LUTs. LUTs are basically like a professional preset that will convert your flat log footage into some nice, pleasant colors. Okay, so now that we are in DaVinci Resolve, I have a couple clips loaded into the timeline. And as you can see, the log footage actually looks saturated right now. And that is because I'm editing on a MacBook Pro. So if you are editing on an Apple device, you're gonna wanna go to File in the top left corner, click that, go to Project Settings. And under Color Management, for the color science, you're gonna wanna switch to DaVinci YRGB. And then for the timeline color space, you're gonna wanna switch to Rec 709A. Save, and now as you can see, it's in that flat log color profile. Next up, you'll go to the color tab on the bottom. All right, so now that we are in the color tab, I have my clip right here, and then on the top left corner, I'm just gonna select LUTs. This is where you can load in whatever LUT you selected, and I have my phantom LUTs open, and 
On the right, I have my nodes. So I'm just gonna press option S so that I can have one extra node. This is where I'll have my LUT and do some of my tweaks to the color. So now I'm just gonna grab Utopia LUT drag and drop it on and as you can see I already have a really solid looking image. I'm just going to do a couple minor things to the color. I'm going to drop the highlights just a tad. I'm going to boost up the shadows a bit. I'm going to bring in some contrast and there we go. We have a nice looking clip. All right, everyone, so that is your quick start guide on how to shoot in ProRes Log on your iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. I hope this helps, and if you do have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I just wanna say a huge thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.